<laughs> Foolish American developer. I'm not one to walk on eggshells, so when I see dudes in drag pushing out boobs and presenting more feminine than the masculine women are allowed to in Western games, I say something. Remember when Jeff Keighley had his little game awards? Ugh. Kyle remembers, but. I have good news and bad news for Hyenas fans. So the glass half full good news is Hyenas is more relevant than it's ever been, considering many people are suddenly actually talking about it. Can you imagine it? Hyenas, the game, we're talking about it. This was apparently supposed to be like the first first person shooter with a playable drag queen, apparently, but not anymore. Because the bad news is, Hyenas has been cancelled before it could even, and you gotta say even, before it could even release. What is Hyenas, you ask? Another live service shooter that's an even more eye-roll worthy flavor of Battle Royale. You may think that any live service discussion would just provide another opportunity for Kyle to remind Rocksteady of shit like this ugly ass Harley Quinn. <laughs> Man, you ever in a fight with Prophet? Get away from me! Stop it! All I'm saying is whoever made this ugly Harley Quinn and this strong-jawed, highly covered-up wonder person clearly went to the same school of character design that the avium and hyenas designers did too because those games are done now why because no one's interested and apathy is like the one thing you're supposed to avoid but these dyed haired western developers are so addicted to subverting expectations that instead of appealing they are going to repulse yeah. is this sticking it to the man or is it just sticking it to the straight white man Beta testers, did you know that the more you use the term straight man instead of first gender, the sooner some people will be forced to out themselves as Chris Chance? It's like when I put hetero in my bio on Twitter and people just can't stop messaging me when I'm not messaging anybody because of the stupid shit in their bio, but I guess that's what triggered is, right? Look, my heart goes out to the Western designers who I guess just don't even know what appealing looks like because they must ignore the whole ass internet outside of their little pond, as Metal Gear Solid 2 put it, 20 years ago. This is how interested people are in Immortals of Aviom. And before we jump off the live services, did you know, according to Forbes, lucrative live service Destiny 2 was apparently unplayable for like a week because of attacks? And if you're anything like me, you're probably thinking, wow, and I'm just now hearing about this? Kael felt his face twitch into a smile. Well, 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 my, my, my. For the record, it is clear that other unannounced titles that Sega was working on will be scrapped as well, and that people are losing their jobs. Ditto with Epic Games, who is laying off a whopping 16% of their employees following a $245 million lawsuit. Donald Mustard also just left. But talking about it is genuinely a waste of my time, as those employees have received severance packages that include six months pay and insurance. God damn, YouTube just demonetized me, froze all of the channel memberships without a warning, and if I'm eligible to reapply, it won't be for the next three months. Perfect. It'll keep me nice and relatably working class to actually earn my pay, unlike the lazy asswipes in my industry who have the nerve to think their stupidity will sell when they can't even spell unsustainable. And you can't spell unsustainable without sus. In the past, if I said I owned a bar and I'd go out of my way to hire a pretty big titty white girl to bartend, and cater to the largest percentage of my customers, that would just be a wise business decision. And after this bitch showed me that she was willing to act by pretending to like me to land the job, I'd know I made a wise decision in finding someone who could convince people coming in out of their money. 
If gaming has elected to hire out-of-touch dyed-haired entities who agree with ESG nonsense, yes, the same ESG that just bled out and has to come back under a new name, if gaming wants to bust that shit in the West, then it should expect all of the games to make money from out-of-touch dyed-haired individuals because that's the only people they know how to cater to. No choice. They want every game to be like Redfall, and if people don't love it, then they have a lecture on how hard it is to make a video game. You should give us your money and pay us what we all deserve, dog. The Eastern developers won't lecture. And historically, when things got this bad in gaming, it was only Japan that the West had to worry about. Things have changed now. You know I wanted to keep it light, my babies. You know, watching Final Fantasy VII, Super Mario Wonder, I can't help but appreciate how Nintendo really knows how to cut a trailer to overwhelm. Really brings out the smiles and the geek in ya. Cause when you look at things like a Sushi Squad showcase, that wastes the state of play's time. You can tell that they don't know what to show because they don't know what the fun part of their game is. They don't know what a gamer wants to see. They don't know, full stop. And I've endeavored to illustrate eloquently that who that studio was a decade ago obviously isn't who it is now, especially after the departure of the two founders. But that's a Saints Row lesson that some people can learn as many times as it takes. Warner Brothers must want to lose even more money. Gotham Knights, the slow-paced, buggy, boring 30 FPS, no counter having bore, set in an empty discount Gotham, sucked. Even if Mortal Kombat solves all of its black screen, missing feature, uh, hitbox issues, it's still a boring ESG game that to me now belongs exclusively to the types of people who buy every iteration of a game that comes out like a FIFA or a 2K player. Remember multiverses, beta testers, gamers, technophiles, we are aroused by techs abrupt evolution, all of us, we are dazzled by freakish progress, the side-by-side -side of that RTX off and RTX on. So please like, subscribe, follow on Twitch, jump into the Discord because we should make this big titty bar a reality and we can hold services and see if the cops have a problem with sermons in a bar. Cause you know, sounds like a good mix. People can't even pay me the courtesy of explaining their autistic so the conversations can flow better instead of me asking what the hell's wrong with this person, but I'm expected to love interacting with fake ass people who would treat me differently based on the color of my skin, but it's not racist as far as they're concerned. You know what I mean? Things need to affect them for them to care. They'd treat you differently if they knew you had cancer or if you were another identity, but jokes offend these people and they're the victim. If they ever knew actual adversity, they'd remember a time that they laughed when they were so down that maybe they thought they'd never laugh again. They'd realize that robbing people of that laugh would define evil. And yet, I've actually engaged with my audience and community and stayed completely in my own lane for a decade. But all of a sudden, my words on matters as trivial as video games are simultaneously offensive and so transparently threatening that more efforts must be made to protect my own audience of subscribers from me. Subscribers is in the people who pressed a button and rung a bell to have notifications on when I release something. These people, oh my god. Yo, I'm, a, I'm an offender. You know, I, I am an offender. Oh, the, the, I, wa I wanted it to just be sexual, but it is, it is so broad. Yeah, I want to show a broader thing or two. You know? Stop. Look. The people that are silencing you, beta tester, haven't heard of the Streisand effect, and I want you to remind them that they can dispatch a man easy, but not so much the message. 
If I can live choking down the absolute greatest offense of all, so can these pussies, because nothing's more offensive to me than the unhinged stupidity sucking the air out of every room these fuck jobs are waddling in and out of, bro. Because you can't, you can't get pussy, so you went full Chris Chan. Guess what? <laughs> Even Chris Chan, after he jumped out of jail, got himself something. Thank you to everybody liking and subscribing. You guys are pushing the videos, even though that's pissing off YouTube. And to those of you supporting, a special thanks. You're single-handedly keeping this channel afloat now. Join the Discord, follow on Twitch. Decide in the comments what the next video should be. Or, I will likely end up talking about Sony and... And, and uh, ooh, Spider Man cameos or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I can feel you rolling your eyes already. Love you. Talk to you soon. You can't hear any of this, right? I'm not paying attention. Look, I prefer both. I'm reading my comments. Not paying attention and you not being able to hear would be better. Well, I can't hear if I'm not paying attention. Well, I can't hear if I'm bald. <laughs> but you're not. Do you laugh? Are you an are you an anime girl in a fucking like? No, bitch. I can't imagine you with, without hair. I really can't. Like, yes, you've you've essentially like cut it all off before, but you aren't bald. Well, enjoy it before the cancer. Shut up! Don't say that. That's not funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I don't think life is funny. Do you know what I mean? I laugh because it would crazy. blow my cover if I if I were just like. All the time, you know what I mean? If I were just sharp inhale all the time. <laughs>